In today's video, we're going to look at how we use some of Adobe's AI features to help speed up making our high school videos. A very happy new year to you from everyone here at the Hive School. If you're new here, my name is Rich and I'm making these videos to help you one up your live event production workflows. Two tools that we're about to show you have been used on almost every video that we've made since we discovered them. We now consider them to be an integral part of our content creation workflow. This is a video that I started to think about around six months ago when Adobe started adding AI features to their beta apps. It was around the time that Midjourney and other text to graphics tools had become popular and YouTube was filled with videos on how to use AI for creative work. However, we decided to take some time to work with these tools and assess which ones were genuine game changers and which ones were just gimmicks jumping on the AI trend. Good audio is a fundamental aspect of a high quality video experience. When it's done well, we may not even notice it, but when the audio quality is poor, it's often one of the first things that our brain will focus in on. While many YouTube channels often start out using cheap equipment like their mobile phone, as AV professionals, it's been incredibly important for us to get our audio, video and lighting right as we develop this channel. While I strive to record my audio using high quality equipment, the truth is I don't have a dedicated soundproof studio space. My house where I record almost all of these videos is located on the flight path for East Midlands Airport. So we often pick up engine noise from airplanes landing. So how do we get around this? Well, Adobe's podcast AI has a tool for enhancing speech, which we process almost all of our dialogue with. To use the enhanced speech tools, you will need an active Adobe account. The process is as simple as uploading the WAV or MP3 file of your audio and letting the tool work its magic. Using it via the Adobe web page is how I first discovered this and started using it. If you use this feature via the website, then you'll need to export your audio from your dialogue tracks upload the file, wait for it to process, download the enhanced file, then resync it back to your video track. While this process is not difficult, it's not exactly efficient. It seems like the folks at Adobe would agree with me when I say that there should be an easier way, and that can be found in the beta version of Premiere. All you need to do is access the Essential Sounds panel, and from there you can tag your audio as dialog and use the enhanced speech process directly from within Premiere. This completely eliminates the need for you to export, import, or resync anything. I'm confident that you will agree this is significantly speeds up the workflow. I'm going to demonstrate the impact that the enhanced speech process can have. Here's a clip with the original audio as we recorded it. In today's video, we're going to be looking at advanced techniques for outputting lighting data from disguise. And here's the same clip after being processed by Adobe's AI enhanced speech. In today's video, we're going to be looking at advanced techniques for outputting lighting data from disguise. Let us know in the comments how much of a difference you think this made. We've been incredibly impressed with it and have used it on almost all of our videos since we discovered it. If you made it this far, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. We've got interviews, tutorials and more all coming soon text-based video editing. This is another feature that was initially added as Premiere beta functionality. However, as I mentioned at the start, it's been about six months since we started evaluating these features. And as of today, you can actually use text-based video editing in the main non-beta version of Premiere. Previously, our process for cutting dialogue would involve watching the various takes in the source viewer, and then setting in and out points and dropping the selected clip into the sequence. Alternatively, when the video only had one speech track, we would start the project with the video in the sequence and then start to cut out the unwanted parts. Either way, there's a lot of playing and replaying the video in order to select the desired sections. To use text-based video editing in Premiere, navigate to the window menu and open the text panel. From there, you can instruct Premiere to analyze the dialogue in your video and transcribe it using AI. This provides you with a script of what Premiere believes it heard in your video. You can simply select the transcribed text and then Premiere will also select the corresponding part of the video. By pressing the backspace key, you can rip or delete the selected section from the video. You can even remove sections of silence from your edit too. But the accuracy of the transcription is not always perfect, but it provides enough information to understand where you are in the video and make some fast initial decisions about what to exclude. And that's it. Two great ways to use AI to speed up your video editing workflow in Adobe Premiere. If you've been using AI to speed up your workflow, why not leave a comment below and tell us what you've been using? Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss our next video. From everyone here at the Hive School, we'll see you next time.